Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add additional product or maybe upsell products in your Shopify store. So on my product page, you can see that I have more additional products which I added as an add-on so that if a customer is coming to my product page and he has the option to buy more products. So we are actually recommending uh, him to add uh, these related products. So uh, it is good for us that uh, we can increase the sales uh, in that way. So he has the option to add more products into the cart so I will show you step by step that how you can do it into your store without using any app so you don't need to pay any monthly fee for that so you should just follow the steps and copy and paste the code and that's it so the first thing is that I have already given the link below in the description so you should download the code once you are downloading it you will be getting uh, a documentation so you should open this documentation.txt I have already documented all the steps which we are going to follow in this video so the first step is that you have to create a meta object optional product but before that let me show you preview like how is the situation of our store right now if you are going to any of the product for example I'm opening this product we don't have anything uh, related to uh, additional uh, add-on or something so let me clear this cart also so that we don't have any confusion anymore and here is the product for example so let's follow the documentation the first step is create a meta object optional product so you should actually go to the dashboard and firstly duplicate this theme so uh, so that later on you can actually roll it back to its original version if you want it to and then after you should click on settings and here you should click on custom data we have uh, meta fields definition and meta objects definition so right now we have to create a meta object so the name of that meta object is optional product so you should copy the name from here and click on add definition paste the name here and then after the next step is add two fields the first is text so you should create a text field that is actually the product name and select single line text so let me show you here click on add field click on single line text and paste the name here text and then click on add the next thing is you should uh, create another field which is reference product so select one product so let me show you how you should click on add field so here you can actually search product so here you can see we have product and you can paste that reference product and then uh, select one product it is already selected and then click on add so we have created meta object click on save so that's it so this was the second step the third step is create meta field additional product so this is the name of our meta field we are going to create so you should go back and here you can see that we have meta field definition click on products and click on add definition and here you need to add additional product so you should select this and this field will be created but but one more thing we have to do is we have to select meta object optional product with the list of entries what does it mean it means that you should click on select type and here you should search object so we have actually meta object which we have recently created so you should uh, click on this drop down and you will find out that we have ad optional product as a meta object uh, displaying here so you should select it and then click on list of entries right here you can see that i have added list of entries so you need to uh, select list of entries and then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go back and we have the fourth step which is open any of the product scroll down to the area of product meta fields and select additional product meta field and create new entry title and select product to display so what does this mean you should actually go back to the product so for example we can go to any of the product but for now I am selecting this product for example fashion t-shirt and scroll it down to meta fields area so here you can see we have additional product here so you should click here and right now you can see we have an option of additional add new entry actually so you should click here and you should uh, add right for example uh, add a title for the product so for example first product okay and then you should click on select product so for say example I am selecting uh, this product and then click on add once you are adding it then click on save so this product we have added now uh, what we did actually we have added additional product meta field and put, uh, created new entry added title and selected the product so that's it now the fifth step is open man dash product dot liquid and find 
price or maybe uh, we can also find it variant so what does that mean that means for example right here you can see that we have variants uh, like uh, color and size and below it we have quantity and then we can actually display over uh, uh, additional add-on products above the add to cart so how we can do that uh, we can actually find the code where we have uh, these variants and just below it we can actually add that add-on so how we can do that you should go back to uh, online store so i am uh, opening a new tab and then you should actually click on these three dots click on edit code and you should search here man dash product click here uh, man dash product dot liquid if you have any other uh, theme then still this code will work uh, but you just need to if you have any problem or something you can ask me i will help you out in that so here you can actually search variant dash picker for example so right here you can see variant picker so just below it we are going to paste that new code so where is that new code so basically we are going to paste that new code i have already attached so here is the code so i'm going to copy this complete code and then going to paste it right here here just below the variant picker and then going to save the next step is that add below json schema in the json block of man dash product dot liquid so basically this is the json schema which we are going to add just above that variant picker so we need to find that blog block actually so here you can see that we have buy buttons then we have quantity selector then we have variant picker so just uh, just below this variant picker or maybe above this variant picker below this variant picker maybe you can add that json which we have this one so you should copy this complete json uh, or data and paste it right here so i have pasted it then click on save once the changes are saved then the final step is that add jquery in the head tag of theme.liquid so basically we are going to copy this jquery and go back to the theme.liquid you should scroll it down and find actually the head tag so this is the closing head tag you should search it and then after above it you need to put the jquery then click on save once the changes are saved then actually we are done with all the things so now it's time to preview the changes so before previewing the changes we need to custom add that add-on uh, product on the customized part so how we can do that so you should open uh, this new tab again go to customize click on customize then after you should click on home page so for example in the home page we have this product we are talking about this product so click on it and then we are uh, clicking on add block here you can see we have additional product click on it scroll it up then click on save you should save the changes here also So here you can see that once I previewed the changes then you can see that the add-on product has been added here. So that means this is working fine. Alright, right now it was not loading here but uh, uh, on the front end it is loading. It takes a little while. So here you can see that it is uh, loading here also. Alright, so that's how you can actually add a new add-on product. For example you want multiple products then how it will work. So you should go back. And here you should click uh, on add new entry click on for example I am adding a random title second product click on select product scroll it down and for example I am selecting this one click on add click on save click save and then click on preview so once you are previewing the changes then you can see that it appears so uh, basically it takes a little while so you should refresh it back and it will uh, show you so you should go to uh, this page refresh it and here we go now we can see that we have multiple uh, we have two products add-on products here so for example i am adding this and clicking on add to cart and here we go now you can see that we have additional product which we have just now added so that is reflecting here so that's how you can actually add to uh, the cart and uh, it will appear right here so let me uh, remove all these changes and go back to continue shopping
click on product and for example i am interested to add a uh, add-on which has variants so how it will reflect so you should go back here for example i am selecting a uh, third pro entry so this is for example third product click on select product for example i have this product i am adding it it has uh, variants then click on save and then refresh it back now you can see that we have the third product since it has uh, the variants so that's why we are not adding a uh, checkbox because automatically when selecting a variant automatically this will be adding so let's select a specific variant for example uh, white small and then click on add to cart and then you can click on view cart and here we go now you can see that the white uh, embody flared leggings is added to the cart so that's how you can actually add multiple products and uh, show the um, uh, option to your customer that this is how you can add multiple products into your cart. So that's way, that way you can actually increase the sales of your store. So if you're facing any issue or something, you can ask me directly. I will help you out in that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. If you have any issue or something, you can directly contact me. If you have any new feature to develop, then still I will help you to create them. So thank you once again. See you in the next video.